Hi there, welcome back. In DaVinci Resolve, the Text Plus is a very powerful tool for making titles, but sometimes I found it's time consuming to create a title with styles and animations I want. Because many advanced features are buried deep in different tabs, sub-tabs, or require modifiers. So I created a title template using Text Plus and other Fusion tools, which has the most often used parameters and settings available with just a few clicks. Once the template is downloaded and installed to the DaVinci Resolve Title Template folder, we can add the essential title clip to the timeline from the effects panel, just like how we do with the Text Plus Title tool. In the inspector, there are parameters in these two tabs to control the style and animations. The first one has the most used parameters for the text styles. Font, color, size, tracking, spacing and the center parameter. If we enable the fusion overlay in the viewer, we can use the on-screen control to move the title around. After that, there are six buttons used to select the preset styles I've made available in this template. S0 is the default with main text. S1 enables the stroke. S2 shows only the outline. S3 has the main text and the shadow. S4 enables the text border. And S5 adds a background. Every time we click a preset button, it will enable the preset element and switch to the control page for that element. Click the S0 takes us back to element 1. You may notice there is another color control inside the main text section, which is the advanced color control for the main text. The one above is just a clone of the solid color. Where in this advanced mode, we can choose different types for the text. If we select image, the controls are swapped entirely with different parameters. The image source controls where the image is from. Tool is used in the fusion page, where we can connect a node as the image source. And the clip source allows us to use an image from the file system. Using the brush source, we can pick one brush from the built-in ones as the color image. For example, the six side star. Playing around with these mapping settings, we can make a title with some really nice effects. We can also choose the gradient color type for the main text. Using these gradient color controls, we can create a title with as many colors as we want. These mapping parameters are used to control how the colors are applied to the text. To continue this demo, let's go back to the solid color. Click the S1 preset button to enable the text outline. The control is switched to the second element, with stroke option enabled. We can adjust the outline color. Thickness. Join and line styles. And softness. If we want to discard the changes, just click the preset button again. All parameters in the current element will be reset back to the default values. S2 is a preset of showing only the stroke, which is element 2. Similarly, we can make changes to the outline as we did earlier. If we change the line style to non-solid, like dot, and keyframe the thickness parameter, we can create a cool animation effect like this. Again, we can click the button to reset. For preset S3, in addition to the color control, we have a few other parameters to adjust the shadow look and feel. We can adjust the shadow's softness. 
Retake the shadow. Shear the shadow along the X axis. Change the size. Adjust the offset if needed. S4 is a simple preset with a yellow border. Just like the character outline, we can adjust the color, thickness, join style, line style and softness. In addition to those settings, we can extend or shorten the border size horizontally or vertically and change the corner roundness. Instead of a border, S5 adds an orange background. There are standard settings like we've seen in the control page for other elements. And I also separate the softness settings by X and Y. Together with the soft glow parameter, we can create some backgrounds like these ones. Or change the background to align with soft ends on both sides. If we keyframe the extend horizontal parameter, we can add a bit of animation to the title. After we select the preset, we can still enable other elements to create different styles. For example, we just chose style 5 with the background. We can go to element 4 to add a border. Go to 3 to enable the shadow. Or to element 2 and add the stroke. We now have gone through the different elements of a text title. Next we will see how we can achieve animations with just simple clicks inside the animation tab without keyframing. In this tab, the controls are grouped into three sections, Animation In, Out and Loop. Animation In section lists the predefined animation effects as the title starts to show. Animation Out has the animation effects when the text clip reaches to the end. The effects defined inside Animation Loop runs the animation through the entire duration. The first parameter in the group defines the animation length, by default it's set to 15 frames. Set animation in time to zero will disable the in animation and ignore all other options in this section. The ease in and out parameters define the ease curves used by the animation, which we can choose from the drop-down lists. For this demo, let's change the time to 30 frames. Even though a fade in and fade out effect can be easily achieved with the fade control handles in the timeline, I still add them here just in case. Type in is a very straightforward effect. The characters appear as we are typing. Set the rotate in to any number other than zero, the title will spin from that angle to zero. We can move the rotate pivot point to change the rotate in effects. Setting the out curve to elastic can create some cool effects. Changing slide in to none zero will enable the slide in animation. The slide in angle controls from where the title comes in. Set the out curve to bounce, we get a falling and bouncing title. Set the curve to elastic, we will have the falling and elastic title. Zoom size in is used to set the animation starting size, for example setting it to zero, we'll get a zoom in effect. Setting the size to a number greater than 1, it turns into a zoom out animation. The drop in effect drops the characters one at a time.
and change the out curve to bounce, we will get a bouncing effect. Or set to elastic to have the elastic result. The following four parameters are used to change the character dropping behavior. We can change the dropping order to random. Or set the order to inside out and ease out to back to get something like this. If we change the drop angle to zero, it will create a character sliding effect. We can enable multiple effects at the same time to create some unique animations. To continue on to the next section, we can disable the in effects by setting the time to zero, which will ignore all the setting changes we made just now. Similarly with these options in the out section, we can enable or disable different animation out effects. The last group is the animations that we can choose to run through the entire duration of the text clip. Character shake and character rotation effects are simple animations applied to individual characters with the options to change the speed or strength. The character wave effect is using a text plus follower modifier to change the character position in sequence and create a wavy effect. We can make different styles with these settings. For example, set X scale to zero, set the character order to random. Adjust the speed. We now have bouncing characters. If we set the Y scale to zero, we will have this character shifting effect. The character random size effect also uses a follower modifier to randomly change the size of characters. It has the same parameters as in the wave effect. If we change text to a series of capital letter I's, we can get a nice animated audio equalizer image. Text random position effect animates the text by randomly changing the text position. For the text swing effect, we can change pivot to change the swing style. Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer, we can drag the control point to set the pivot point. The last three effects are rotation effects applied to the text on different axes. Turning all three effects on can make some really crazy animations. Even though we can turn on as many effects as we want, you may have to wait longer to get the clip cached. Since there are so many possibilities, I'm thinking about adding another tab called Animation Presets for favorite animation combos. Like these ones I used in the Controls tab, with just one click, all the in, out and loop parameters will be set automatically. As usual, you can download the template and check it out yourself. Leave a comment with your favorite text styles or animations, I will update the template in the future with more style presets and animation combo presets. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.